Can I just chat with you for a minute? I just feel like sitting down and chatting and uh, usually when I feel like that it's because I'm you know kind of down and out and I just want to reach out and get things off my chest or whatever. But this is different and I keep hesitating to talk about it because I know a lot of you would think no you know, food doesn't do shit like that. But ever since I went high-fat carnivore, and now I'm also just beef, beef and butter. I had some chicken and pork still in the freezer, and I ate that with beef. I made sure I had beef every day. And now all that is gone. So probably for, I don't know, maybe two weeks, I've been eating just beef. I have ground beef, chopped steak, um, and today I had a piece of London broil and uh, butter. <laughs> and I have big, long moments, long periods of nothing but pure peace and zen feeling. I feel like I'm on some very good drugs. <laughs> When I say drugs, I never did drugs, street drugs, because I was a drunk. I knew I could afford that habit, <laughs> and I could get it easily. I never even tried coke or any of the shit that was around me because I was so afraid. I, well, I knew I would want more of it, and I didn't know how to get shit like that, so booze. Booze was it. But, you know, I've talked before how there's times that I've been what I consider over-medicated, by psychiatrists and I would go through periods where it was just kind of like that uh, I almost feel like I'm a little bit stoned I did do that <laughs> as a teenager I mean it's not constant I do have some days that I feel like uh, but it doesn't last long you know so there's something to be said because uh, I mean I'm the one testing it you can believe me or not but I'm going by me. I mean, I know myself pretty well, especially when it comes to food and moods, <sighs> you know. There's just something about it. It's just, it's just unbelievable to me. Unbelievable. So uh, I know I think I talked about dabbling with ghee. I was making my own ghee to get the milk out of the butter. But when you put salted butter with, uh, and you melt it down and you take some of the milk out, it is so, so incredibly salty. So I started adding unsalted butter to it. And it just gave it a different texture. And um, I wasn't digesting it. I had gotten like really sick one night. And I knew it was that. Plus I had like really eaten a lot of it. And then just the other day, I complained, uh, or I told you guys that the night before I had a really upset stomach. And I didn't even have any ant antacids. I did have uh, Alka-Seltzer and I drank that and I was trying to think what 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 did I do any I didn't do anything different but I did I I had opened up some unsalted butter because I have it in the in the freezer and I said well I might as well use some of this up now yes I I can add salt but um, anyway so okay I'm jumping ahead of things I determined it has to be the, salt, uh, the unsalted butter that's just not agreeing with me. And it has nothing to do with the fact, I don't believe, that it has no salt. It has to do with the fact that the unsalted butter has an extra ingredient added. I think this one says natural flavorings or something like that. Because they want to give it some flavor because there's no, no salt. And I think that's the culprit. See, my salted butter is just... Um, does it say butter and salt, or does it say cream and salt? I have to go look. That's interesting. I will look up and see what Walmart's unsalted butter says. But the Kroger one that I've been eating is, um, the unsalted is pasteurized cream and lactic acid. That's the fucking shit that must have made me sick. It has to be. And the uh, other cream is just pasteurized cream and salt. There's no lactic acid. Now I'm going to look up lactic acid. I can't explain all that. <laughs> There's lactic acid. Our body produces that, but I can't really find what happens if we 
eat that. But it does say um, it can cause uh, extreme fatigue, muscle cramps, body weakness. And I was having some inflammation. I don't think that's a muscle cramp. But anyway, so that's interesting to me. Now, Walmart's unsalted butter, it does say uh, what I thought it says. It says, it says pasteurized cream, natural flavors. So I don't know if lactic acid can be a flavor. You know, and they add it for that reason. All I'm saying is when you cut your food down to just like a couple of things, beef and butter, whatever kind of beef or butter you're eating, if you add something to the mix, it does not take much for you to realize, oh, that doesn't agree with me or that agrees with me. I've always been okay with salt and I was not really a person to salt my food because, I mean, for many years I ate food that had enough salt in it. Uh, but now I have no salt in my food, so I do salt uh, my food a little bit. Not a lot. Uh, I, I do like salt in my coffee. Jeez, that's fucking good. <laughs> so I had uh, a coffee this morning, and then this afternoon I had, I can't have more caffeine. So I, um, I had butter, a little bit of milk. I still have my milk, and, you know, water, hot, boiling water. And then I added... Um, um, the fuck salt and uh, vanilla extract a couple drops of vanilla extract so good so good now I want a little immersion thing uh, Derek has though a bullet but I don't like to do that with hot water see I told you I just felt like chatting and now I'm boring you with all these details but they have a little like a little mixer thing to make your coffee frothy or whatever but I don't really like gadgets nobody Nobody send me that. <laughs> I don't want stuff. So, um, yeah, one time I, well, I had mentioned things in the past. Uh, I mentioned a couple times in sewing videos quite a while back that I didn't uh, have my walking foot. And I got three, three walking foots, walking foots um, in the mail. And I was like, oh, why, why, why do people do these things? And I don't know. It, you know I don't like stuff coming in because it's just, it adds to the clutter really quickly. So, um, oh, my God. Now I'm pissing some people off because I do receive some things. But I try not to say that because I don't want to give people ideas. Okay, so there's all that. I just wanted to tell you that I feel fucking good. And... Uh, that's not going to be constant, like I said, uh, but uh, I'm really quite impressed so far with the, uh, with the high-fat carnivore. So I'm eating beef, and I was, like, I had really cut down on the beef, and then I realized that wasn't enough beef for me. So I am eating, geez, I probably still eat sometimes two pounds in a day, but I'm at least eating a pound per day, maybe a pound and a half, and then I'm having at least one stick of butter, and I have gone up to two sticks of butter in one day. But I would say one stick to one and a half. And now I'm doing just butter, salted butter, and just beef. And water, and one time per day, not even every day, I will have a seltzer that has no sweeteners or anything. And, uh, and then I do have my, my morning coffee with a little bit of instant in it. So that's how that is going. I just wanted to update you on that, and I am going to do it until the end of June, for sure. And then, of course, if I'm still feeling like this, I'll just be doing it forever. What else? Oh, my king-size quilt top. I started not the day that I had the video to announce it, because I got really tired that night because I did so much. I have so much energy. It's just incredible. It's like non-stop. And I got tired and then I said, okay, I'm just going to go lay down. I treat myself to these things and I, I'm starting to not feel guilty about doing that. Um, so I started the quilt top the next day, but I didn't do the sewing. I was going to sew, but I said I really would like a variety 
of of squares just to make it not so boring so then I decided I'm going to and I will have special videos for just that I'm going to keep track of obviously how many I'm cutting and I want to keep track of how many different prints I have and I've decided that I don't really want more than 40 of any print because that would be like a hundred fifteen I think different prints in the quilt which is cool but I'd like to to do more prints than that so um, I'm, you know I have some that I cut tonight I'm looking through scraps that I actually bought from one of my fabric suppliers and now I'm not regretting it because there's some nice pieces in there and some pieces I only got like six two inch squares so that's more time consuming that kind of cutting but I I'm enjoying it so much and I'm in no rush and I told you I just feel so like you know, just, I, I don't know, I'm just in a mood where everything is just good. I'm so happy to have this project of this king size quilt top made only using two inch squares. So I, okay, I did write something down. I have so far, did I not add that? Let me add that. 713 squares, and that's does you know that doesn't take me long at all to cut but again tonight was a little longer because I had odd pieces normally I cut two inch strips and then I cut those across that's very quick and easy and I have uh, 36 prints so far different prints and I'm not being fussy at all as to what is going in there for prints or colors I mean obviously I'm not gonna do something that's screaming Christmas or you know not holiday things and I um, and I'm not going to put batik in it because I have a lot of batiks, but I'm going to have it just be regular quilt cotton. So that's coming along nicely, <laughs> just at the very beginning. And I do plan on this taking. Uh, I even was allowing myself until the end of the year, but I don't think it's going to take that long because I I think I'm really going to enjoy this and look forward to every day sitting and sewing a little bit or just cutting more squares. So I'm happy with that. And I am going to still do other quilt tops and other things like that while this is going on. I'm not waiting until that's done. I have to do, you know, other things. It's just a project, a long-term project that I have that, that I can hopefully continue to enjoy. Is there anything else I wanted to tell you? Oh, Derek wants to take me out. I need to go out. I, I, this mood has to be taken out of this apartment and put onto a dance floor. <laughs> That's where I belong. And uh, Derek is, um, he wants to take me to a place called Neil's, oh geez, I just looked it up, Music Room. I think it's Neil's Music Room in Memphis. Meet me there. Uh, I don't know what weekend. And, uh, you know, it doesn't have to be a particular band or whatever. I can just go with him any weekend that Skylar is at her mom's. But I would like it if it's a time that he and Jeff are there to actually talk to a band and meet them and talk about the podcast and all that. So I'm very anxious to start going out more. I need to, you know, more clothing. I am sad about something. I got lazy about um, polishing my nails. And uh, so I've been, I've been fucking tearing up my fingers. Uh, it, it just makes me so mad. The thumb bled on both sides, and uh, this one, my this one, <laughs> has a sore on, on the side, and I just I can't see. As long as I have nail polish, I don't touch them. So I have to polish my nails because I I want to get back to them being healed. And uh, I didn't go after this one. This is my favorite finger to chew on this side or to pick. And it's still calloused. I still could tear it up if I wanted to, but I don't want to. I, I, I have to stop. I said, if I go to that finger, there's no turning back. <laughs> God, must think I'm so weird. You have to admit, I'm very honest and open with you. That's for sure. So uh, I'm going to be anxious to go to Neil's, and I want healed fingers. And I just snapped off my thumbnail. My nails grow pretty fast. That started when I started just carnivore like six years ago. And this thumbnail grows faster than other fingernails. And I don't know if it's because I don't, you know, touch as much things or 
and I picked up a box and, you know, it slipped and it snapped my fucking nail pretty deep. So I might cut the others down again, polish them, and, and just try to um, keep them out of my mouth. I haven't done anything on the dating site because I stand a better chance of meeting someone if I go out. But I still would like to go on the dating site to just just let people know. I mean, I, I, it sounds like I think I'm all that. I don't. But I, I will never find anyone if I don't put it out there, you know. And I could contact some that say they're in Hernando, let them know if I'm going out. Uh, you know, I, I seriously doubt any of them would, but if somebody said yes, that would be cool, and I would feel safe. I would have Derek there. There would be no driving with this person. You know what I mean? It would just be it would just be a good way to meet someone, and so I still want to put it out there and um, just to sit with somebody and talk to them in person instead of back and forth. I did chat quite a bit with someone. Uh, he was 10 years younger than me, uh, which wasn't a big deal, but there were some things that we didn't uh, quite match up on, and I don't know. No, I'll say it, religion. <laughs> I'm a critical thinker. Let's just put it that way. So I... Um, would like to meet somebody in person and then that completely eliminates anyone who's lying on their profile you know who's who's uh messaging uh from what's the place what's the place nigeria the famous place i guess i'll stop now i feel like i might have pissed some people off <laughs> talking about about sending me things and and now i'm a critical thinker <laughs> You know what? I don't care. I'm happy and I'm going to stay happy. I hope. I hope the next video I'm not crying. Um, I, I don't think so. I really think if I stay with beef and butter, uh, you know, it's just, it really is incredible. And I still do watch a lot of people who are doing this. And, you know, when I listen to them, I'm like, no, that's fucking bullshit. You're not going to feel that good just because of changing the way you eat. But... I believe it wholeheartedly. I didn't think it could get better than carnivore. I was wishing it could be better because I still would have times where I would um, overdo on dairy. I don't give a shit about dairy now. I can't believe that. I haven't purchased cheese. I mean, it's like I just go to the store and I don't even care about it. No processed anything. Beef and butter is what I'm eating. You know, beef and butter. It's just so easy and so awesome. Anyway, I can't remember what I was saying. So, uh, but Beef and Butter Gal, I like her. Is her name Bella? I, I don't remember, but her channel is Beef and Butter Gal, and I like to watch her. And there's just so many, so many out there. And I'm, I'm thankful for the people who do talk about this stuff because I would have never learned about any of these things. And I'm just so happy that I, you know, was willing to try. St oh, I was so willing. I, I would have done anything um, to stop feeling the way I used to feel. And look, I even like decluttered a closet. I had the energy to do it. It was sometimes painful, but I was like so wanting my closet done. That clean closet has gotten me to do other things like a king size quilt top and I'm pulling from there to cut for my sails. And you know, I'm just, I'm just so happy. Not happy that uh, I'm getting these things done as much as I'm happy that I even feel like it. There's something very different going on inside. And it's been happening, but I just didn't want to talk about it. I wanted to wait. But boy, when I've had this past couple of weeks of just beef and butter, maybe that'll wear off. Maybe I'm just high from that. Maybe it'll wear off, but I don't know. But I, I, I'm going to go have some butter right now. <laughs> I am for real. All right, you guys, thank you so much for listening and putting up with me. I really do appreciate it. I do. I, I know people don't really think so. Some of you think I'm a bitch because of the comments off and all that stuff, but I do appreciate this audience. I do think about it sometimes and just be like, I want to talk to them. You know, I'm human. I'm just, I'm just a little odd when it comes to, um, you know, to the whole social thing. Maybe that'll change. Who knows? All right. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.